Welcome to the RESTgate screencast. My name is Marco Hippler from Predicate. Today I would like to present a tool for RESTful web services. RESTgate is a browser-based client providing access to a REST resource. First I request a REST resource. As you can see, the response presented to the user is already prepared accordingly. In the header, for example, the requested URL is shown. I've sent a GET request and the server has answered with the status code 200 and signalizing with it, everything worked fine. Below you can see the entries of the HTTP header. RESTgate has detected the content type XML and therefore the message is formatted and the links are embedded. By clicking on the embedded link product, the URL of the resource is passed to the REST gateway. Now I can choose between the HTTP methods GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. I want to have a look which resources are contained in the container resource product, so I choose a GET request. Therefore I click on the button SEND and with it sending a GET request to the server. After that a representation of the available products is shown. Now I want to get some details to the product number 2 and therefore I click on the embedded link again. By a further GET request I get the details to the product. Next I want to modify a resource on the server. Therefore I copy the description of a resource and return to the REST gateway. By choosing the HTTP method POST an input field is shown. I paste the description of the resource into the input field and modify a single value. Again I click on the button SEND and the response of the web service is shown at the next page. The service confirms the modification with a status code 200. Now I want to check if the resource has really been modified by sending a GET request. As you can see, yes, the price has been changed. After I've modified resources, I want to create a new resource. I choose an URL, not pointing to a resource at this time. Choose the method PUT and fill in a representation of the resource to create. After the request has been sent, the server responses with a status code 201 indicating that a new resource has been created. I check if the resource has really been created by clicking the link which has been included in the answer of the server. And here you can see my new resource. Next I want to show how to remove resources. Therefore I choose a delete request and paste the URL of the currently created resource into the address bar. A single click on the button send and the resource is deleted. As the response confirms. Finally, I want to have a look what happens when requesting a non-existing resource. Therefore, I request the currently deleted product number 289. Here you can see one of the advantages of REST. The status code 404 has been responded and every web developer knows that the requested resource doesn't exist. 
In addition, Resgate has detected that the response's content type is an XML and embeds the HTML response of the server. You can use Resgate yourself for the exploration of REST services. Just go to the address shown at the end of this video. Goodbye and see you soon.